Hey everyone, Gareth Hudson here from Solid Tech Solutions. I just want to do a quick little example of how you can actually change the whole callout uh, for your, so the whole callout for a countable hole. So what I've got here, um, I've just got the simple, very, very simple little part. I've just got here a counterbore for an M12 hex head machine screw. Uh, if I go on, um, if I go ahead and just edit the feature, just show you guys, uh, you can see it's an anti-metric hex screw for M12. What I've done is I've just made a real quick drawing of that, just put on an isometric view. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a hole callout. Now, hole callout is great when you're using the hole wizard. It gives you all of the information about the hole. So you can see it's diameter 13 through all. The counterbore diameter is 22.86 and the depth is 9. Now, I've been asked in the past um, how we can change this counterbore um, symbol here so that it says seabore rather than having this actual symbol. So um, the main thing to, to see is if I click on that uh, hole callout, what we can see here is this little bit of code here. So mod diameter is the diameter symbol, HW through hole is the 13, uh, HW through is where it's saying through all, hole spot, so this little bit of code here, hole spot, is actually what is giving that symbol there. Okay, then you've got mod diameter, HW, uh, C diameter, and then the hole depth. Okay, hole depth is this symbol here, and then we've got the HW, CD depth, which is the nine. So, okay, keeping that in mind that I've got here this hole spot is what this symbol is. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my tools options. Okay, and I'm just going to have a look at my file locations. And what I want to do is I want to look for my whole callout format file. This is what's controlling how the format of my whole callouts look for all of my different standards in my whole wizard. <coughs> Excuse me. So what what I what I'm going to do here is I can see that it's C program file. So I'm just going to go ahead and just browse through my computer, and I'm just going to browse to C program files. Uh, SolidWorks Corp. Now I normally change my SolidWorks installation folder to the version of SolidWorks that I'm using. If, if you hadn't changed it, it would just say SolidWorks Corporation or SolidWorks Corp. Sorry, and now I'm going to go uh, say so SolidWorks, Lang, English, and then in this folder I'm going to be able to find my whole callout. So here it is here. There's a callout format text. It's this first one here that you want. It's just a text file, so I'm just going to open that up using Notepad. And then what I see is if I look through this text file, it's, it's a pretty big text file. But all I really need to do is, well, this is for all the ANSI inch standards. If you look through, you'll see there's a whole call out for each different standard. And then for each different type of hole in each one of those standards. So here's the ANSI metric. Uh, and then there's different call outs for the counterbore blind um, and all of the different. So there's a counterbore through all the different sizes and then there's a near side countersunk, far side countersunk, so all of the different options that you get in the actual hole wizard. Now I'm not going to worry about uh, specifying a particular standard, all I want to do is I'm just going to change every single thing. So all I'm looking for, uh, what was I looking for, I was looking for hole spot, okay. So I'm basically going to go here and I'm going to find hole spot because I know that that is that little symbol and I'm going to go to format, sorry I'm going to go to uh, edit and I'm going to go um, I'm going to go to replace <coughs> excuse me and I'm going to go to whole spot and I'm going to replace it with C bore that's what I've had in the past some other people might want different stuff but basically go and change the whole spot symbol with C bore okay I'm going to go replace all okay and then I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to then save that as my whole callout standard. Just get rid of all this stuff, close all that, cancel that for a minute, come back into SolidWorks. I'm going to add my whole callout. All right, and then I can see, oops, I was supposed to delete my brackets as well. That's okay. Let me just go back in there and find that again. Okay, so I want to replace this um, so I'm going to replace that I just didn't replace quite enough stuff Seabor replace all 
Where is that? Save that. Okay. That should be fine. Let's have another go at that. Hold call out. There we go. Okay. If you wanted to change your depth, you could do as that as well. You've got here hold depth. Okay. So that's what I want to replace in my text file. So what I could do, oops, I've closed it now. That's all right. Let me go back to it again. So C program files. Here's my call, whole call out. So, um, what was it again? Oops. Okay, so whole depth is what I'm looking for. So I basically want whole depth. Copy, edit, replace. I want to replace whole depth with seaboard depth. Save that, close it. Okay. So you can change your whole call out and you can change it to, to whatever you want. So hopefully that uh, gives some people an idea as to how you might actually go ahead and modify your whole call outs.